Some friends have just been there since an early age, and today a few of them are here. Adam Baker, Andrew Glarner, Billy Freeman, to name a few. Thank you for being true friends from the start. To my high school teammates, especially the upperclassmen like Ray Gould, Don Calloway, I think Don's here tonight, who took a lost freshman under their wings and showed him the ropes. Charles Davini, thank you for being a teacher that truly cared. To all my high school coaches, namely Terry Dunn and Bill Kramer, thank you for teaching us that football is the ultimate team game and setting the foundation for being disciplined, tough players. As I made my way from South Florida to Ann Arbor, Michigan, I realized quickly that I had a lot to learn, and Lloyd Card was the perfect person to show me the way. Thank you, Coach. You showed us the importance of teamwork, tradition, and how to win and lose with class. Those of us that played for you truly had a mountaintop experience. To my teammates, guys like Brian Greasy, Charles Woodson, Zach Adamy, Rob Sweat, Jared Irons, Aaron Shea, Jeremy Tooman, Steve Frazier, Tom Brady, Anthony Thomas, Ben Mast, Eric Wilson, and many, many more. I thank you, and I'm very grateful for all of you. My roommate, Jeff Backus, I looked up to you more than you'll ever know. I thought I was tough, but not like you. You were more of a uh, leader than you realize. To Scotty and the Passing family, thank you for being wonderful people. <clears throat> The late Jim and Bonnie Mandich, as well as the rest of the Mandich family, you always treated me like family and we miss you too dearly. My position coaches, Terry Malone, Greg Mag Madison, Mike DeBoard, Brady Hope, technique was the foundation of my game and ultimately why I'm standing here today. Mike Gittleson, thank you. Thank you for all being such great teachers. To the late Paul Allen, the Wilf and Adams families, thank you for letting me represent your organizations. I had the privilege of playing for, for first-class teams, and great ownership is the foundation for that. I thank Mike Holmgren for giving me an opportunity by drafting me. I know I didn't leave there with us being on the best of terms, but over the years we've gotten reconnected, and for that I'm glad. To my teammates, especially my veteran offensive line mates, Robbie, Chris Gray, Matt Burke, and Walter Jones, thank you for your leadership. Robbie, you set a great example of how to be a true pro as well as a great father. Walt, I would have loved to play every snap in my career next to you. For as great as you were as a player, you're a better friend. Matt Hasselbeck, Max Strong, Grant Wistrom, Sean Alexander, Lofa Tatupu, Adrian Peterson, Sean Locklear, Brett Favre, Kevin Williams, Ben Lieber, Pat Williams, Heath Farwell, Phil Lodehold, John Sullivan, just a few of the wonderful teammates I was blessed to play with. To John Randall, I'm not here today without going against you every day the first three years of my career in practice. To EK, I don't have a brother, but if I could pick one out, it'd be you. Brad Childress, thank you for having the faith to bring me to Minnesota, and Mike Munchak for giving me an opportunity in Tennessee. To my line coaches, Tom Lavat, Bill Laveroni, Pat Morris, Jim Huber, Jeff Davidson, and Bruce Matthews. Thank you, thank you for putting up with me. I'm great, grateful to have been with each and every one of you. Gil Haskell, I thank you, as well as all the assistant coaches throughout my career. I'm grateful for you all. To the staff members at all three organizations, especially the trainers, strength coaches, equipment, and PR groups, you're always very special to me, and I always cherish the memories with those people, especially Tom West, Bob Hagen, Dave Pearson. To Tom Condon, RJ Gonzer, John Palguda, and the countless other people at CAA and MAI, thank you. Thank you, Mike Sando, for presenting me to the Hall of Fame voters. Lastly, to my wife and kids, Lily and Luke, I thought the days that you two were born were going to be the best two of my life. That was just the start. Lily, when I look at you, I see so much of myself. You're be strong, be brave, and beautiful. That little girl who stole my heart has grown into a young woman who I'm extremely proud of. Always maintain that passion, that fire, and that great personality, no matter what path you choose. Luke, watching you grow up is like rewinding my life. It's crazy to see the amount of similarities we share at that age. I always wished I could go back in time and tell myself something to help myself in the future. If I could go back now, I'd tell myself not to fear failure, but to fear not having given it your all. You're everything I asked, could have asked for in a son, and watching you grow up warms my heart.
have as much confidence in you as I do. It's going to be fun watching you figure the, yourself out these next few years. I need both of you to know how incredibly proud I am to be your dad. This might look like my biggest accomplishment, but being your dad has and always will be my greatest honor. It's my wife, Landon. You've been, you've been by my side since eighth grade. They say that football is the ultimate team sport, and since the two of us have always made a great team, I was able to completely focus on my career and ultimately stand up here today. You always found a way to lift my spirits after a bad game, bring me countless bags of ice after numerous sur surgeries, raise two great kids, and somehow find a way to have dinner made, errands run, and handle the bills, all while having that unmistakable smile on your face. I could talk for days about how much you mean to me, but you already know that. I'm incredibly proud to be your husband. I love you. In closing, thank you to the Hall and all its volunteers. Thank you to all the fans everywhere and at every stage of my career. The energy you bring into the stadiums on Friday nights, Saturday afternoons in the big house, and of course Sundays is what fuels us. And to the kids out there who are dreaming of playing in those stadiums or wondering if you could one day be up here as well, never give up on your dreams. Hard work and dedication are two necessary ingredients for success, but you can't do it alone. Lean on that parent, that grandparent, friend, coach, or teammate. Success isn't always comfortable or easy. It requires sacrifice. I remember back to my freshman year of high school, walking out to the first of two practices in South Florida heat, while many of my friends were hanging at the beach or the pool. I had made a choice then that I wanted to be great, and I never looked back. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.